Beetle that's already ravaged forests in New Jersey is now threatening Long Island, and foresters are very concerned. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff shows us how they are fighting back. The buzz of chainsaws and the calls of. In the pine forest of Long Island, signaled the launch of a war. The target, this tiny beetle. The southern pine beetle made its first ever appearance in New York State last fall in Long Island parks. Now, the State Department of Environmental Conservation says the infestation is far more widespread. We have identified a thousand plus acres in probably over a hundred locations. Not just any 1,000 acres, acres of infested trees in the core of Long Island's pine barrens. Pitch pine needed to protect Long Island's purest drinking water supply. This is an absolute disaster. This forest has been here for 12,000 years. We fought off overdevelopment, and it's a little bitty beetle that's threatening to bring it down. Today, DEC crews fanned out in Hampton Bays, cutting down 14 acres of pine trees. The beetles are hard to see. They hide behind bark and choke off nutrients, but you can see trees fighting back with clumps of resin. So what exactly is happening to this tree right now? Well, right now it's it's um, going to die. No chance against an army of thousands. This is being treated very similar to a wildfire. Um, it behaves in some ways like a wildfire. It spreads from one location and spreads outward. Foresters say this is the best defense and time is of the essence. By spring, beetles will fly. Then healthy trees will have to be cut down too as a buffer. This bitter cold actually helps. Some of the beetles will die off, but foresters say not enough to eradicate them and spare thousands of trees. In Hampton Bay's Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the infestation could also spread to private property. If you suspect an infestation, you should report it to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation.